Hello, today we're gonna to be learning how to charge and discharge lead acid batteries with the T180 charger. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so next we're gonna be talking about the functions for the lead acid battery, which can be found here. Um, this charger can charge and discharge a lead acid battery uh, from two to 20 volts. So this one we got here is a six volt battery. And we'll use this as an example for showing you how to charge and discharge. So in order to charge or discharge your lead acid battery, you're gonna need um, some sort of adapter or something. This one here, uh, it has two alligator clips and it attaches to this connector here. Uh, you could also use uh, the bare leads that comes with the octopus cable here and just attach some alligator clips. That will work as well. Uh, we're gonna use this today. Uh, first gonna attach the red to the red, the black to the black, that, and then plug in the connector here, like that. So now that we got all connected, we'll go into the charge here. So again, we're gonna go down, input the voltage of the battery. So this is again a six volts. Go up to six there, click enter, put in the capacity. This particular battery is 4.5 amp hours or 4,500 milliamp hours. So we'll go up to there, take a little while to get there. There we go. And the charging current, 0.4 amps. So we're going to want to charge at a rate of 0.2 C. So this battery is 4.5 amp hours. So times 0.2 is 0.9 amps. So we'll go ahead and change that right there. Hold down enter. You can do battery check. Checks out and click start. And now it's charging. We have the uh, charging time up at the top here how much capacity has been added, the, the charging current, the voltage, charge power. Go down, we got the input and end voltages here, safety timer, and the last page, again, is the internal resistance and the peak temperature. And the graph is showing you a live readout of the voltage. So moving into the discharge function for the T180 lead acid battery charging, or discharging now, uh, we're gonna go down to the voltage. It's already set up for six volts. Um, so that's good, this is a six volt battery. Go down to the capacity, it's a 4.5 amp hour battery. Got 4,500 milliamp hours, so that's good. And we're gonna discharge at a rate of 0.1 C. So we'll take the 4.5 multiplied by 0.1 we get 0.4 amps right there. And so that will be just fine. Hold down enter, do the battery check, turns out okay. Hit start and it's now discharging. All of this is gonna be the same. Voltages are gonna be dropping. All right, so first question we got here, what current should I charge my battery? So for lead acid batteries, we have uh, another formula for that, for charging it. So for example, this battery, uh, sealed lead acid battery, has a capacity of 4.5 amp hours. So we're gonna multiply the capacity by 0.2C to get a charge current of 0.9 amps. Next question, what current should I discharge my lead acid battery? So for the discharge, the lower the rate of discharge is the better, the higher the efficiency will be, and the better off your battery will be, will be for it. So the next question, how low can I discharge my lead acid battery? So we recommend you to not discharge your lead battery lower than 50%. Doing, uh, discharging it lower than 50% will shorten the lifespan of the battery. And the last question, do lead acid batteries need to be discharged? Uh, lead acid batteries don't need to be discharged. You can discharge them if you want, if they need to be reconditioned or if you haven't used them in a while are some examples when you might want to discharge them. 
But again, we don't want to, we recommend you don't discharge them lower than 50% because it will lower the lifespan of the battery. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.